Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back from my week-long vacation of studying, studying, and even more studying. Um, so what we wanted, we're, we are continuing with Codecademy JavaScript tutorials. And right now we've landed on um, section three, I think, loops. This is not a loop. This is showing us what lesson number one is showing us exactly why loops are useful so if you do not want to spend all your time and resources doing this how practical is this five times well I'm, I'm taking a shortcut actually um, what they wanted us to do is to actually type it in each time but we should all know come on I am so freaking lazy um, so basically what it wants us to do is how long did it take us to do that? Like, I know five, counting to five isn't that big a deal, but let's say that you wanted to go up by as as much as 150, 200, 300, 400, it, big numbers like that. Do you honestly want to print out those many numbers, that many numbers? Like, you do not want to waste your time doing this. So that is why loops are important, and I am going to get into loops right right after I submit this code submit it we it prints out one two three four five now we are starting to see just how loops are set up so for this is a for loop this lets JavaScript know that we are working with a variable we name the variable it's the variable has a value of one the variable doesn't go past doesn't go past five and the variable incre increments from one so basically what a for loop does is it counts its way up and it can also count down um that's the most basic explanation that I could give you guys so what we're basically doing here is we made a variable that's that has a value of one now we want to count up we want to count until we get to five and we will be counting by one each time so if you oh and what we want to do is change six to eleven that's what code academy wants us to do i th i think it's eleven or maybe it's ten it's it's eleven oh yeah you, there it is so we started from one and we ended up by ten and we counted by one each time moving on to the next lesson this is where the loop starts as I said before all we want to do for the loop is we want to change where it starts off and put it 5 let's say the loop starts from 5 run the code 5 6 7 8 9 10 moving on it's very it's very simple like anyone could understand this quite honestly Okay, so we want to change where the loop starts from. It starts from the number 4, and it goes up to 23. And those are my birds, so please do not get scared. 4 to 23, and it goes up by 1 each time. Practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Okay, so... This is particularly unique because for the first time we are actually getting challenged. So we want to start counting from 5. So change this 0 to a 5. Make sure you do it right. And we want to stop when it gets to 50. But the one difference... For, um, the, pay, pay very close attention right here. What I'm, what I'm going to do. It's not, it's not... We don't do this. No. This is not what developers do programmers whatever you want to call it this is not what they do they put an equal sign and they put five so what it's basically doing is we are incrementing by five if you want to go back by five so decrease you just put negative zero five negative zero so submit the code oh my bad make sure you get it to 51 Submit the code, and there we have it. 5, 10, 15, all the way up to 50. It goes up by 5 because that is what it does best. 
Um, so let me go over this really quick again, once again, once again, and what is going on, what is going on, what is going on. I think this is the new user interface problem that it's having. I, I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay. Uh, I have to redo this entire problem again. Um. So we're starting off by five. We're going up to 50, so 51, and we're increasing by five. So what this basically does is for loop, variable, variable name, variable value, variable increases to, variable increases by, and it just prints it out so we can see what's going on. I hope you guys learned something. Please add, like, subscribe, comment below if you like the tutorial or anything that I could improve upon or if you guys need any help. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.